24 purchasing committee to order. Carla, will you call the roll, please, ma'am? Yes, sir. Fisher Phillips. Present. Fisher Mackey. Here. Fisher Boyd. Here. Fisher Gage. Here. Fisher Johnson. Present. Commissioner P. Here. Chairman Clark. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Vice Chairman P. Do we have uh, you have you had uh, an opportunity to read the minutes? I have, and uh, I didn't see a problem with them, and I make a motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second from Commissioner Johnson. All those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. The minutes are approved. We now go to public comment. Carla, do we have yes, any back for public comments? Okay. Uh, and number five, the RFP for janitorial services. Mr. Shu, you want to help us out with that? Yes, sir. I think we're, we, you took that under advisement, and you, I believe you have a recommendation for the committee? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Kind of, can you review just real quickly for us since the last meeting? Because sometimes we forget, at least the chairman does. So we, we looked at the properties we had in the current contract with the R&B that held all the county properties with the exception of Judicial Senate. And we weren't getting the service that we expected. And we think we just basically, we gave them too much. Because it's, there's quite a few buildings, quite a bit of square footage. So we decided to split the properties. Uh, I think Adam explained that before. So we split the properties. Uh, we had two bidders. That's it. Uh, that's the, the expectation is by giving them less, they could do a better job. You think they were overwhelmed? I do. Okay. I absolutely do. Okay. So it, within the first six months, you know, we expected a, a bit of a challenge for them getting into it, but it's continued. Okay. And we've had issues. So <coughs> I think it would work better if we split these. They have a lot less air, uh, square footage and bathrooms and everything. Uh, I put a little spreadsheet together. If you guys want to just yeah, go ahead. This it basically shows the some cost differences, <coughs> and we're actually going to save a little money by doing this. So I believe the number that we're going to save that Adam shared with me is on or about seventy thousand dollars. Is that accurate? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. We're getting. I'm getting ahead of myself here, so I'll let you. So, property list number one had two bidders, R&B and Young and & Sons. So, what I did, I put together the cost. R&B's been with us for two years now, this July. That's their cost per building per month in that first column, from 21 through 24. Their total's down there at the bottom, their monthly total, and then their annual total. For 24-25, which is the bid we're going to look at tonight from R&B, you can see that they went down. They were 347-664 for those properties, and they're now down to 313-692. So there was a cost savings there. But Young & Sons actually came in under <coughs> R&B for that property list. And I couldn't break that down by building because their bid their was not broke down by property. So I just have a total of 25000 a month for 12 months. Uh, if you look at the annual savings with R&B from what they currently charge versus what they bid on, it was 33972 less. So the, the next one down is the Young and Sons current bid versus R and B. They're actually going to be thirteen thousand six hundred ninety-two dollars cheaper than R and B. So my recommendation, everybody's. Young and Sons. Would be young do and do sons. we know anything about them? They have the Judicial Center contract right now. They've had that for several years. They do a good job. They've been trying to scale up, uh, and I think they're ready to take on that. I guess my question would be on R&B, 
then they're, then they're incumbent, right? They have the contract now. You said, well, if, if they're overwhelmed, how are they going to be underwhelmed by cutting their bid? That's well, what's not making sense to me. They're going to have, well, not exactly half, but they're going to have quite a few less properties to do <coughs> less square footage with the same amount of staff that they currently have. But they, so other than the judicial centers, there any more property than what's listed here? No. County buildings. Correct. That, that we are responsible for general services. Right. But if they're if they're doing all of this property mm -hmm. now and they're overwhelmed, how are they going to be less overwhelmed, and making less money? Well, uh, according to their bid, not that they according to their bid. That's I'm not sure I can answer that question. But am I making any? You, you are, but I would I would say the reason they might be able to lower their bid is because they were probably unable to get the resources to fill out the, all the buildings. And so by scaling back, they were able to manage those human resources more effectively. It's the thing, and I, I get, because what you're looking at is property list one only. We're not no, looking I'm at looking at property list one and two. Yeah. They're the only bidder for two. That's correct. So basically, they're asking to do the same amount of buildings and be paid less. That's correct. And they're overwhelmed. That, now, well, I, I would say, I don't know. And, and that, I would you say, that. Rob, did they, they didn't say they were overwhelmed. That was the assessment we made. Would that be accurate? Correct. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. That was our, I think that was our <laughs> assessment. <laughs> it didn't make a lot of sense either. Right. Put it on paper like this. But I think what, I think what Adam and Rob were trying to say is, is their assessment was they bit off more than they could chew. And they're going to get. We're going to give them a little more something that they can chew and do more effectively. And as a result, yeah. the price came down a bit. But, but they don't believe they bid off more than they. Can I chew. haven't talked to them. I don't know what they believe in that regard. We're making an assumption here, Commissioner. What I'm saying. I would agree. We we made them aware. We have good relationship with them. But we made them aware why we're doing this. Uh, with an expectation that they'd have an immediate service improvement because they have less properties to handle and they have uh, roughly the same amount of staff to take care of the same amount of, or less buildings, excuse me. And, and that was the goal, was it not service improvement? Yes, absolutely. Primary goal. Yeah. Uh, are, I'm curious, are we their only client or they have other? They have the others, of? yeah, they do. We, I couldn't tell you today who they have, but they have some schools. They do school properties in Davidson County uh, and some other public properties. Okay. Yeah. I think they were based on Mount Julian, if I'm not mistaken. Wilson County. The comment they made the other last month, I believe it was, was um, that it was an employee issue. They never, ever were at full staff, not ever couldn't hire people and couldn't retain them. They got better toward the end a little bit, but still it was a personnel issue and cutting their services in essence in half would help them solve that hiring and retention problem. That's sure. Should anyway. That's the intention. And they did have a big turnover if you just because we keep track of how many people get vetted. And if you look at how many people were actually going to HR to get vetted there's quite a few. That's expensive. It is. Yeah. All of these companies are have, have insurance and liability and bonding requirements, don't they? Yes. And, they have, and, the, and both these companies met those requirements, correct? Yes. That's in their so we have, to summarize, we have the recommendation you and Mr. Dodd are making is for uh, Young and Sons on property list one for three hundred thousand dollars, correct? And for R and B for property list two at two hundred fifty-five thousand ninety-six dollars. Is that correct? Correct. That's the recommendation. Mm -hmm. Move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Correct. We have a second. Any further discussion? Do you know how many? Uh, 
uh, companies we sent this bid to. Well, I mean, it roughly so. It was, it was quite a few, and then I got emails as well, people requesting the bids. A half a dozen? Yeah. More or less. Mm -hmm. And only one is Came a bid on property. There's two and two on one. Mm -hmm. It's been a struggle since I've been yeah. here. It's just the janitorial requirements or getting the people to do it. It's been a constant struggle. And at one point in time, we did this internally. Uh, Rutherford County provided this, but we had the same <laughs> challenges with labor force, did we not? Absolutely. But we were doing it with, we had a full-time supervisor over janitorial needs, and uh, they were all part-time employees, and even then, we, we just couldn't get that. We have a proper motion and proper second. Do we have any further discussion? Seeing none, Carl, if you'll call the roll, please. Yes, sir. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Commissioner Mackey? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Gage? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner P? Yes. Chairman Carr? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much. Gentlemen. Yeah. The next is Matt Davis with uh, Solid Waste. Matt, I think we're doing an RFQ for tires. Is that right? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're not next, Matt. Go sit down. <laughs> You're good. Uh, Doug Demasi and Mike Hughes for uncalled traffic engineers. Sorry about that, Matt. That's, my, that's the fault of the mayor. <laughs> Mike, Doug, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you want to tell us what we're doing, Mike? Yes, sir. A um, little background history. Um, in the county there, I believe, are six or seven traffic signals um, that we have had help in the past with the city of Murfreesboro. And the city of Murfreesboro, as it grows and also as the county grows, um, let us know that they're no longer going to help us with monitoring traffic signals, maintaining traffic signals, things like that. So um, we wanted to hire a consultant to help with the oversight of the existing traffic signals, new traffic signals that are in the process of being um, designed and soon to be constructed, and then also um, to help with uh, traffic studies, things like that, that, um, that our department doesn't have a traffic engineer currently, so we're going to try to get a consultant on board just as needed. Um, with, the, with the traffic studies and the, and the existing traffic signals. So, so this, is, this is a response to that RFQ? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So we, we advertised and uh, uh, for several items that we needed. Uh, I think we have one respondent. One, one respondent. Yeah. <laughs> what made this well, what made it a little more challenging? Was, I mean, there's lots of engineering firms out there that um, have traffic engineering provided kind of services, but there aren't many out there that really cater more toward the public sector. Uh, you know, obviously, we didn't want to get an engineering firm that we might have to have recuse themselves because they're involved in a project that's it's under a review, you know, for, for county planning commission. So we wanted a firm that really isn't involved in that side of things. So that made it a, a, a little bit less. You know. <coughs> How many respondents do we have, Carl? Just one. So this would be an, an on-call basis, not a uh, set agreed amount just as we need them. If we have issues with a, a signal, uh, needs re-timing or re-evaluated, we would um, get them out there to look at the, the signal and make sure it's uh, functioning or reconfigured as, as needed. Uh, they, these people are located here in Rutherford. Yes, they, they, they have on East Main, are yes, they, they not? Yes, sir. Uh, and on, their, on the first page there, their cover page, uh, you'll 
you'll see that they have quite a bit of experience and have worked with the city Murphy for over quite a few years, so they're very familiar with the processes and equipment and everything that we already are using. Um, this also was a part of the budget for 24-25 that has recently gone through budget committee, correct? Yes, sir. Part of the mayor's request and recommendation with planning engineering, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, it was. So as Doug stated, they have a vast amount of experience. Um, a local staff we can work with, we, we feel that they would be a good uh, fit for our needs. Um, even if there's only one uh, bidder, um, and you're familiar with them, or do you want to take this under advisement, or are you prepared to make a recommendation? I think we're prepared to make a recommendation for this outfit. Okay. So you're recommending Neil Schaefer, correct? Yes, sir. Is there some kind of a price or something yeah, related to this? I can't find it. I, nor, nor could I. Just why? <laughs> <laughs> we had a number in there somewhere. <laughs> to approve without knowing what the rate is, gentlemen. Yes, sir. So we'll, I guess we do need to take it under take it yeah. Well, yeah. just don't don't be rushed. I mean, if we can, I mean, unless there is a rush to a, I mean, just, I, I just didn't see anything in there. But I didn't look at it, please. That's my first time seeing this as well. Sir. It's impressive all the work the people have worked for. Yeah. But there's no we need a price. Right. Yeah. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what we're approving, quite honestly. No. Uh, just a suggestion, why don't we let them set aside for a few minutes while we go on yeah. and I think that's a chance to I, I, I think that's an outstanding yeah, idea. Say, decide and raise your hand, say you found it or like take another yeah. advice. Yeah, so we will defer this toward the end to the heel. We'll move this to the heel of the yes, calendar sir. if there's no objection. Yes, sir. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Vice Chairman P. That's an outstanding yeah. suggestion. Uh, Matt, are you ready? I, I called on you earlier. Well, yes, kind sir. of a false start there. Okay. But, uh, Matt, what are we doing? We are accepting bids for our tires. Okay, and this is our part. What kind of tires? This would be for our large garbage trucks. The, the large truck tires? The roll offs and the front load trucks. Okay. And, uh,. We get three bids in. tires or recaps? Do we specify? Our steer tires have to be new. Um, the drive tires are normally recaps as long as we can get them. Um, sometimes if the stock is low, we may have to take a repair. 
spare tire or to uh, bury a case in a new tire for driving. Okay. Question, Matt, if I may, when you send out a um, a proposal for the vendors to bid on something like this, you're not asking for them to bid on a quantity of tires, but by unit per size, mounted and balance, I would assume, because I mean, with the way things are up on top of Trash Mountain, I mean, you may rip a brand new tire the day you put it on. That right. I mean, you may gash it from the sidewall or something, thereby rendering it absolutely worthless. So these quotes don't reflect a quantity. It's a, it's a unit price. Would that be accurate based on the tire size? Yes. Okay. And the third one is from just one tire. We had two bids. Two 
tickets received from mm. Sir. Uh, the first one is from. Who is our current vendor, Steve? A1 Cleaners. A1? Yes, sir. And where are they located? Off the North Thompson. Oh, they, they've got a main location in North Thompson, the other location is off the North. Here in Rutherford County? Yes, sir. And how long have we been doing with them? Uh, several years, but they've been doing good service for us. They have or have not? I have, have, have. Okay. okay, so the first one is from Heritage Cleaners. Excuse me, but they, where in the same hill did I get five hundred thirty-eight thousand three hundred fifty-six dollars? He totaled up the four hundred ninety-three employees, times six items, and got you the total for all those. Okay, but that actually may not be the bid. It may actually be that would be just an estimate of the service because you you don't know how often you're going to send a uniform Correct. out, especially if it's sold or something happens to it. Correct, and that's why we look at the unit price. Right, okay, okay, yes, okay. thank you very much for that clarification. I'd like to make a recommendation to with A1 Cleaners. Okay. We have a recommendation. That, uh, anybody got any questions? They're current and have been for a couple of years. Several years, yes. Sir. And you're happy with them? Yes, sir. We move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Uh, Real quick question. So the unit price is substantially less than Heritage, correct? Yes, sir. Correct. Okay, and the satisfactory, the service is more than satisfactory, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot. We have a motion and a second, and it looks like we're going to uh, the recommendation is to accept the, per, uh, the low bidder, which is also the current uh, provider. Any further questions? I'm curious, do you know uh, how that is to the current rate that we're getting? How that good question compare right right a little bit, little bit more but I, I don't know for sure how much okay I'll just guess yes. because you know, we just brought a uh, amendment up a couple of months ago to to raise the increase of some uh, five percent increase the current that they had to give us notice for five percent yes yes and, yes. and, and that's what for both stars the rent me being processed we was due for rebid yes any further questions if there is no objection, we have a motion and a second. Call the roll. Yes, sir. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Commissioner McDade? Yes. Commissioner Hoyt? Yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Chairman Carr? Yes. Thank you. All right, thank you. The next was the RFQ for Rutherford County Transport of Citizens for Substance Abuse Disorder. Captain Holt should handle this one. I'm sorry? Captain Holt should be handling this one. Excellent. Cap is this uh, Captain Holton's first time with the Purchasing Committee? 
I think so, yes, sir. The, oh, he hasn't gone through the initiation process yet? That's why I see no lady on the Okay, I'm ready. Don't <laughs> Mr. Gooch, you are, you are appropriately recognized. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what do we got, Captain? So we've got a uh, COSIP grant, which is an opioid-related grant at the Sheriff's Office that the Commission approved last year, uh, the Student Department of Justice. And um, we hired a couple ladies uh, to help drive down the numbers of the jail, get people out of jail and send them to the rehabs around the state. Um, and we're currently doing that. Uh, as of now, we are having family members take these people to rehab or deputies. Um, because a lot of them are indigent and don't have the ability to get anywhere. Um, and we try to do door-to-door -door service, meaning if we release them from the jail for a night and they try to get a ride the next day, a lot of them will overdose and reuse, and we don't see them again. So they reoffend and they come back. So what we're trying to do is door-to-door -door service um, and get a transportation service to pick them up the day they walk out of the jail and take them directly to their rehab. Uh, this is paid for uh, through DOJ. We've got a couple hundred thousand dollars a year set aside just for transportation alone. Um, and we put out a bid for a company to do those transportations. Let me get this straight. So we set aside a couple hundred thousand dollars a year for these services. Yes, sir. Correct. In our current, in our next budget cycle. Yes, sir. Through the grant. So, hey, this is, I guess we got, got red lights, but this all, this is all passed through grant money. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Excellent. So we received one bid in, um, right? To Recovery LLC, that's who it's from. Or Steve, or you, either one, or Captain Holt, familiar with this? Yes, sir. And, and to what degree are you familiar with? Um, the owner, Paul Kendall, I believe, used to work for Maribed, and um, when we first started putting this out, um, that's about all, all I knew. I think Dr. Murphy, who helps us with the Coast of Grant with Prevention Coalition Success, uh, knows her, Mr. Ken Mr. Kendall and um, he was in the process of starting the company, and so um, we sent it to several vendors. Obviously, nobody was interested, but yeah. Do you know what you're currently paying to transport people? Well, or are you? We, we aren't currently paying um, necessarily what we're paying deputies to take them. So, uh, I can assure you it's, it's, it's a pretty high hourly rate to get a deputy to take somebody to Dixon or um, different places where they go throughout the state. A lot to go to Knoxville. Um, so he's got a um, base rate of $60 plus $3 a mile. Um, and then a wait fee of $1 per minute after the first 30 minutes. Uh, anything over 20 to 50 miles, well, the, the first one, the $60 base rate is less than 20 miles. Anything over 20 to 50 miles is $90 plus $3 a mile after that. Anything over 50 miles is $120 um, plus $1 for each additional mile over 50 miles, um, and then $3 a mile after that. And of course, the wait fee after 30 minutes, if they have to stop somewhere or for whatever reason and wait on the uh, client. So I don't anticipate having all of that. Captain, do we have any anticipation of whether the grant will entirely cover the services necessary for this? When we run out of money, yes, we're going to stop unless we do something differently. Unless okay. rock, we ask for Rob Grant or we come back to y'all and ask for more money. But um, it's my hope that we'll use it wisely and we're not going to transport everybody. You're going to have to meet some criteria, like you don't have any family members, um, you know, a deputy's not available to run you across town. We're only going to use these for like the ones going to Lazarus to Knoxville, the uh, ones going to Dixon, the ones going to Memphis to Chattanooga, things that we can't uh, currently do. Um, but right now we're just making do and uh, coming up with unique ways to do it. And um, so I, I don't know the answer to that one right now. That, that's fine. Um, I'm not trying to pin you down. The other question is, is the type of vehicle used to transport these individuals, it is a, is it, does it have some special requirements? Yes, sir. They, unlike a, just a regular van or a passenger car or something like that? Yes, sir. They have to be trained in the use of Narcan, which 
is used for people that are overdosing. Um, they have to be trained in um, uh, like crisis management, you know, um, things of that nature, uh, basic CPR. Um, they have to have a, obviously a clean criminal history, uh, clean driving record. And Any vehicle requirements? Uh, the vehicle requirements were they had to have a uh, eight passenger van and then they could also have uh, small passenger vehicles if it's just one person. Um, and so other than that, it being a serviceable vehicle that gets, you know, uh, regular uh, maintenance done on it. And um, other than that, there's no special stuff like oxygen tanks or anything like a, an Amerabed. Okay. So, so is, does the grant require the driver to be qualified in all those things as far as the Narcan, crisis, whatever? No, sir, we did. You did? Yes, sir. So it's not like an Uber driver could take no, somebody? We, no, sir. We, we just feel like if you if we did that with Uber, and we talked about that in the past, and we just feel like there's a lot of unknowns out there, and if, if we if we call somebody an Uber and they take them off and something bad happens, it's on us. Or I think it will probably be a Correct. run back to us. And so we want people that have their own insurance and uh, that are responsible. And one more question. Do you, under this situation, do you know how many people last year we transported, say using a deputy or? I do not, I could get you those numbers. It's not, it's not something we commonly do and uh, it's something that we really never did in the past. Um, and it, it's something that we do sparingly. Uh, and it's more of an effort to, if we, if we don't get that person somewhere, they're gonna go right back out here and break into your car. Right. And so this right here, where a deputy, be a lot of time and money got knocked so forth. Yes, yeah, so you, you'd have a zone free, and you'd have a guy making uh, forty five, fifty thousand dollars a year doing it, rather than a driver that's getting paid by the mile. Right. And your and a loss of service because he's out of commission for several hours. But we could transport more people this way because they're available, and obviously the deputies yes, would not be. And when we go to Knoxville, we generally take two deputies because of the distance and just for safety reasons and, and right. things like that. So, Captain Holbrook, are you overseeing the application of this grant? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. I don't know how to ask this, Robert. You may help me, but is there any way uh, for this to be coordinated through our opioid committee and let them put out bids to see if they get any more attractive bids for anything like that? Well, I'd have to think about that for a minute. I mean, I, of course we could, but uh, I, I think what might be better is if they run short on funds, maybe come back to the opioid board for that. As far as, you know, bidding it, uh, I can bring it up to the opioid board. So, I mean, I'll talk to Chairman Harris. You know, if he wants to put it on the agenda, I'm, you know, more than happy to do that. It's, it's just a thought. I mean, I yeah. Don't well, we have unique contacts with some of those people too that, that are doing transport, so it might be that some of those might be interested that may not have been aware of this bid going out, so at least we can ask. So I'll do that. We sent it to uh, three or four, and I believe uh, I was told to remember that as well. Did Hustle get a notice on it? I know they do some transporting. So as far as I know, so hustle recovery is a, is a rehab facility. I don't know. I don't know. They may. Well, I mean, they, they do for their own people. That's, that's what I'm saying. They may have resources. I don't know about. Yeah. Uh, they're the only one I know that have talked about, you know, transporting people to different locations. Captain Holton, uh, are you want to make a recommendation, or what would you like for the committee to consider? I would recommend we accept it, and comparable to. To other companies that I've seen, you know, knowing what we pay for a Merit now, this is um, much less. Obviously, it's a different service, but um, I think, um, you know, moving forward, if we have somebody else that comes in mind, we can we can revit it. But um, I think, uh, you know, I've dealt with Mr. Kendall a little bit. Sarah, Dr. Murphy's dealt with Mr. Kendall, and uh, that's actually she recommended to me. Uh, to reach out to. So this comes with a recommendation from Dr. Murphy at the Prevention Coalition yesterday. How much was the grant? Do you recall? It's two salaries uh, for 
two years and transportation for two years. And so I'm thinking the transportation piece was like 150,000 a year, so 300,000 for that piece. And then salaries and, and equipment, office stuff, uh, insurance and, and all that would probably be an additional 160,000, 80,000 a piece. I would say so so. close to a half a million dollars yes, in three years. Yes, yes. What would the committee like to do? <clears throat> Move to accept the recommendation. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Further discussion. Seeing none. Carla, call the roll. Yes, sir. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Commissioner Magnus? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner P? Yes. Chair <coughs> Yes. Thank you. And motion passes. Thank you. Next item on our list is RFQ for uniforms and equipment. Is this one you or Kevin yeah. Holton? Yeah, this is mine. Yeah. Uh, we're seeking uh, bids for our uniforms and equipment uh, for the detention and the sheriff's office uh, side of the schools. Who are the current vendor? Uh, so far. CMS uniforms out of Nashville. They've been, been with them for 20 plus years. Oh my. Thank you, sir. Same uniform company do with their sheriff's departments. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they uh, do Metro and uh, Davis County. That's so you're currently here? Yeah, yes, sir. You're happy with it? Yes, sir. Is there any kind of requirement on how often we, we have to bid stuff like this? We usually don't on the uh, bid spec, but we make you renew it with a reasonable increase mm -hmm. after the uh, second year when we get back to the community to get approval for that. So we could either approve the increase or we bid it? Yes, sir. We'll be back to the first two minutes. So we received two bids. <coughs> first one is from CMS. You have two bids in front of you. Yes, sir. With the two, the, so many items on here, we'll have to take it under advisement to come back next time. That's absolutely outstanding response. <laughs> so, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor of it, take it under advisement, say aye. 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 Opposed? It's now under advisement. Thank you, gentlemen. Good. Here are the original Okay. This one is a cost on it. Yeah, this one is cost on Thank you very much. Next one is uh, surplus 12 vehicles on gov deals. Yes, sir. We're requesting to sell um, five uh, Ford Explorers, two Dice Chargers, four Ford Crown Vicks, and a Chevy Tahoe on gov deals. These vehicles are not mechanically safe and are not worth repairing. High mileage, um, hundreds of thousands of vehicles that's in control. 
You know the big red truck out there has about 260,000 on it and still running strong, Steve. Maybe you need to buy more F-350s yeah. with a flatbed on it. <laughs> Captain, what do you think? I'd like that to be prepared for free. I'm going start something down there. <laughs> with a gooseneck hookup. Yes. Maybe, maybe blue, not red. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, what do you need from the committee? Just proof to um, the surplus. I mean, put them on the cup deals to sell them. Okay. So move. We have a motion. Second. We have double seconds. Any questions before we move on? We can't do it, right? On gov deals, you can. We can. Yes. On gov deals, mm -hmm. anybody can. If there's um, no discussion, Carl, but if you'll call the roll. I'm going to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Dying to dive in there, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Take your time. There you go. <laughs> Improvise. Commissioner McAdoo. Yes. Commissioner Phillips. Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Chairman Carr? She did that without looking up, gentlemen. That's pretty impressive. That is. Right around. Aye. Pretty good. I think they sit in the same spot. Mm -hmm. It helps, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, when will those, just curious, Steve, when do those go up on gov deals? But as soon as you'd like to, Mayor. No, I no, I don't have a like to. I was we, just curious. We're gonna bring them over um, after July. That way, we we always request them and go back into our vehicle line to try to put more money to buy. Oh, other good. Vehicles. good. I think they're stripped and ready to go. Are they? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And how long do they stay up on gov deals? I've never done gov deals, but that is just public information for the viewers uh, on our TV. So we can set it anywhere from one day to two or three weeks. It just Usually we do about 10 days do you? or so. Yes, sir. Because how many we put out. But okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they've got time to ask questions and things like that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, yeah. We need to do this. Yes. We, yeah, we didn't do that for... Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we have a uh, trade vehicle for a new one. What are we talking about? Yeah, the Narcotics has a 2019 Nissan Titan pickup if they want to trade it in for a newer vehicle. And the vehicle they're trading for is on state yet. Okay. Okay. So it's state contract on the new vehicle. Yeah, yes, sir. And they do this to keep their vehicles newer to get better trade. Did we get, did we get an estimate on what the trade yeah. value was on the 219? 17,000. 17,000? Yes. Okay. And what's the, what's the state bid on this new vehicle or the state contract on it? 53, 422. Okay, so basically the difference between that. Yeah, 36,000. So we're talking about a delta of 36,000. Yes, sir. Any questions for Steve regarding the trading in of a 2019 Dodge Durango? Did I say that right? Nissan Titan. Nissan Titan, I'm sorry. Quite a difference, sir. Quite a difference. <coughs> If not, the chair will take a motion. Motion to allow them to trade this vehicle. We have a proper motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, Carly can call the roll when you can find me a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner Gage? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Chairman Clark? Yes. Thank you. Um, before we get to our last item, Carl, just so you know, we, there we go. That was for the. That's for the. Yeah, we, we still don't, we don't have yeah, okay. sheets on the other okay. things. I'm, just, I'm not trying to get you behind, but I don't want them to leave because we're now to our last item. Yeah, I hope that will leave. And I have uh, Commissioner Gucci. As soon as you drop the gavel, he's out of here. <laughs>
when he shows up. Uh, stick around. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay, good. We'll be right back with you. Is that it? Okay. Our, our final, uh, thank you for your patience, is surplus canines. We got three, is that correct? Yes, sir. We're requesting to retire three of our current canines. Um, first was a nine year old Belgian Wall, uh, due to their age, uh, requested that uh, the handler, Brad Hardwell, take possession and responsibility of the canine. The second one's a seven-year-old German Shepherd, uh, retiring due to their age, um, asking that Deputy Sarah Blair take possession and responsibility of this canine. The last one's a two-year-old Chocolate Lab. Um, I came before y'all, the TCA t uh, donated uh, transportation to the airport, donated her to her. She's untrainable, so we're requesting to retire her and uh, let Sergeant Lee Young take possession and responsibility of her. Just curious, what was, uh, what was untrainable? She just wouldn't. Uh, very hyper and unable to teach how to see us. That's how it's done. Yes. 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 Anybody cleaners? We have oh, yes. 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 Seeing none, call the roll and get a new car so I can get you kicked up. Hmm. Okay. Commissioner Mathis? Yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Chairman Carr? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Kevin Morgan. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. <laughs> Sheriff, it's always good to see you. Yeah. Glad you could participate. Well, I was uh, great to be able to contribute. To you did. <laughs> as you did. <laughs> see you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mike and Doug. Yes, sir. Y'all, what did y'all come on back up here? Y'all got something to share with us. It does. Oh, I'm like, Demosky yeah. and Hughes, I'm trying. You deserve. No. <laughs> hey, you guys specialize in large tra traffic accidents. Hot messes. Yeah, yes, Hot sir. messes. Hot messes. So, when did we find out, Mike? We went back and reread uh, the advertisement, and it uh, reminded yeah, me. Not the response, but not the, the response. The advertisement. The advertisement. So, per state law, you're not allowed to bid engineering services. So what what we have to do is we have to select a firm and then negotiate with them. So what we're asking for you to do today is allow us to negotiate with Neil Schaefer for engineering services. And typically what it will be somewhere around their hourly rate. Mr. Chairman, do they have to come back to us for approval? Yes. Do not. Would you do? Well, I think it's what it says. It says the county anticipates entering contract negotiation with a selected firm with an award made by the Rutherford County Commission and the Office of the Mayor. Okay. Well, typically, now, well, let me back up. Has the county dealt with this engineering firm before? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay, so that may be the, that may be the difference. Yeah. So we don't have a fast right for sure, but that's why we ended up having to go through the okay. process, actually. Okay. So that, that's what we're requesting is, is the permission to negotiate with this firm. So just to be clear, so uh, you're going to negotiate on behalf of the county um, with the consultation of the mayor's office, then we'll be back, they will bring that bring back, back to, here to first seat representative of for our approval, and then it'll go to commission for final approval. Yes, sir. Okay. That would be the process. 
Makes sense. How can you be mean enough like the mayor? You to go That's what you. Doug's here for. Doug goes karate, so let's watch out. So moved. Second. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. We'll Thank see you, you back in the next month. Yes, yes sir. Four bullet. Any other business? We take two. You can, yes, leave the original, please. <laughs> July 10th. July 9th. July 9th. It's a night. Yes. July 9th. July 9th. So, let me ask the, before we adjourn, let me ask the committee. Typically, many of the committees and the commission does not meet in July. Uh, we certainly are not required to. I don't, I don't know that we get anything pressing, but we can if it is the will of the committee. I meant the will of the committee. Yeah. Planning meets on Monday, uh, purchasing meets on Tuesday, and the full commission is on our calendar for that Thursday. Oh, okay. So, there, that, that wouldn't be an issue then. Mid July. Mid July. It's on the calendar. Okay. Okay. And it probably will not be a full commission meeting. It'll be a joint meeting with our planning commission to present our plan for the Right. Okay. okay. So, if there's, unless there is objection, our next scheduled meeting will be July 9th. Okay. Um, we are adjourned. Thanks, gentlemen. All right. Thank you.